All right, does everybody have the practice side follow open? Okay, does everybody have the W3 school side open? Okay, let's take a look at the W3 school side. I want to talk about styles, okay? Make sure you click where it says HTML styles up there. Now, when you do HTML styles, uh, there's basically three ways you can do them. Okay? And I've seen people that have been kind of working ahead of me been doing them in different ways. Uh, but the, the three ways you can create styles. You have inline styles, which is what we're going to show you today. Uh, you have an internal style sheet, which we will show you kind of in our next little unit. And then you have an external style sheet, which we'll do later on. Okay, we'll, we'll do a whole lot of external style sheets next semester. We'll so uh, But what styles do is they can make your website look pretty, right? Everybody wants to have a pretty website. Okay, it means you can change your colors. It means you can change background colors, text colors. You can change alignment of text on your page. Uh, you can change uh, the different types of fonts that you use and all that good stuff. Uh, the way we're going to show you right now, um, if you were building a really big website, you would not use inline styles for those. Uh, you would use inline styles to, to affect like one single element, okay? Uh, in a style and one element at a time. Now, uh, if you take a look right here on the W3 school site, the first inline style that they show us how to do is a background color. Okay? And on your background color, you apply those to the open body tag. You do not create a brand new open body tag. You apply the style to that body tag. And when you're doing inline styles, they always start out with style equals. And they always go in the open body tag. Okay? The style equal is an attribute that is describing the element. Let's take a look at the home page on your practice site. This is what mine looks like right now. Let's go ahead and let's apply a background color to it. Uh, I'm going to pull mine up right here. I'm going to go inside my open body tag and I'm going to add the attribute style equals. You should be doing this with style equals. Now, let's make sure we get the syntax correct. It means that we're using the right wording. We go right here. It's style equals and then quotation marks background dash color. Background dash color. Then I'm going to use a colon. And then I'm going to use a Thank you. Yeah, it's a colon. You know, there's two kinds of people in this world. The people that will tell the teacher that they messed up, and the people that won't. Okay? I like when people tell me on this side. All right, what kind of background color should I make right here? I can't mind, let's say look at my page right now. It's all black and white. I got standard black text. I got one text that's highlighted at the top. Um, if what happens if you make it black? So what is it? I'm gonna make it black. Now I'm gonna put in my color. I'm gonna put a semicolon at the end of it, and then I'm gonna put a close quotation mark. I'll pop up the semicolon in a little bit. Now let me ask you a question. Does my text disappear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It is actually still there. Okay. I'm selecting the text right now. It's still there. It's just the color black, right? Is a black a, is black text good to use with a black background? No. What about I don't know. What about use the color yellow? That will show up. The highlight will. The highlight will not show up. That's correct. 
Okay. You know, I'll apply a background color using an inline style on your practice site on page. I will be coming by to check this in a few minutes, so make sure you have it. Now, I do want to give you all a look before we move on. Because you all can put whatever colors you want on your pages. But before we move on, I want you to stop for a second and I want you to go down here and take a look where it says HTML color. Now, there's a couple different ways you can enter color. It says in HTML, a color can be specified by using a color name, an RGB value, or a text value. Now, if you take a look right here, when I use this stuff, if I'm ever doing something in HTML, I just use the name of the color. Okay? Uh, it says HTML supports 140 standard color names. If you click that right there, it'll show you all the different color names that you can type in. Um, they have them right here. You can use Alice Blue all the way down to what's the last one on here? Uh, all the way down to yellow green. Thanks. What's that? Oh, on now, also right here, each one of these things has a hexadecimal value, uh, which means you can type that value in and that's the color that you get. Uh, for me, when I use it, I just type in whatever color it is I want to use. Okay? I'm not the most artistic person on the face of the earth. I'm not real good about, I can, I can only see about half of the colors anyway. So I'm not real good about working with colors. You can also mix and match, match your shades. You click on where it says mix. You can create your own uh, hexadecimal code on here. You can pick one of those shades, whichever ones you like. Okay? Uh, but there's a lot of different ways to come up with colors. The easiest way for you all to, to do it it's just using color names. Okay? That's the easiest way. Um, if, when we get into using actual web design software, uh, Christopher, you should be doing this with us. Not, that was like, um, but whenever you get into using actual web design software, these little color figures will be on there for you, and you can just do it inside the, inside the software. Now, let's go back to the HTML style section. Let's create some more styles. After your background color, they have text color, okay? Um, I'm working with a yellow background, so what would be a good text color to use? Green? Why would green? Let's look at green. I'm going to make my, uh, my first heading green. Let's take a look at it. Now, to take that out, and we say style equals quotation mark. I'm going to go color colon green. I'm going to put my semicolon at the end. I'll talk about the semicolon in a few minutes. I promise. When I say that, I go back and refresh my page over here. Okay. Did I make a mistake? What was my mistake? Do wrong. No, I don't have to do that. 
All you do if you look here on the control side, it is style equals color colon whatever color you want it to be. Now, I have made a mistake somewhere and I can't figure out where. Oh, working mode, I need to pause the Now, um, that was your text color. Style equals and color colon whatever color it is. You don't have to put font color. That's just you apply that style equals color colon to whatever element you want to color. Okay. Now the next one is your fonts. You look here on the font family. Um, this is where you go and change the actual type of font you use. Um, there somewhere on this website is all the different HTML fonts that are out there. Most of the ones that you see in like Microsoft Office you can use. Okay. Let's go ahead and apply font family. I'm gonna pick a I'm gonna pick my second H2 right there. Style. So, well, I'm gonna come around and check these in a few minutes, okay? When I check them, if you're having problems, that's when we'll figure out what's going on. But now additionally, please listen to what I'm telling you. If you were one of those people that decided you were gonna work ahead of and you did styles a different way. We are doing inline styles. That's how you need to be doing them right now. Now I'm going to put style equals, and I'm going to do a font family. Colon. You all, the little side conversations need to stop. I'm just going to make my aerial font. I'm going to put my semicolon there at the end. And I'm going to put that for the second quotation mark there. Save that. Go back and refresh my page. And you see my second heading right there is now aerial font. Right? That's this right here. Applying a font family. Anybody having trouble with that before we move on? Okay, next. Uh, the next type of style, inline style that you're, that you're showing us here, you go through here, is your text side. Okay? They, uh, when I say they, I'm talking about the W3 school side. They're showing you how to do it in terms of percentages. Uh, if you look on that first example, they made the font size of that H1 300% of its normal size. That makes it three times as large as it normally is. Okay? And all that is is font dash size equals whatever percentage you want it to be. I'm going to go down to my first paragraph down here. I'm going to do style equals font dash size. So my colon. I'm going to make it, I'll make it 200. You add your however you want. Semicolon. Okay. Go ahead and save that. Refresh my page here. There you see my first paragraph text is 200% bigger. Yeah, right here. It's kind of down there at the bottom. Making your font size a lot bigger. Everybody got that part? Have trouble with it, let me know. <laughs> 